Hi, this is Seema and I am back with a new lesson uh, on a new vowel sound that we are going to learn today, which is the AH sound, okay? Uh, well, uh, in your dictionary, the AH vowel sound is symbolized with this symbol. So, uh, it, it looks like an A and therefore the pronunciation goes like an ah so you know how do you produce the ah sound well it's very simple when you get up in the morning what do you do you're 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 really tired no you're re you're very fresh so you do an ah so it's almost like as if you are yawning so when you are yawning your lips do an ah so your lips are wide open they're not rounded but they're wide open and your tongue is flat on the floor of your mouth so if I was to have my tongue somewhere on the top of my, you know, like somewhere on the top, not, not below. So I couldn't do the ah, you know, I would do this. The sound wouldn't come out as an ah. So to give the ah sound, it is very important that my tongue is at the floor of my mouth and my lips are wide open. So that gives me the ah sound. And because it is a very common vowel sound we are going to apply it on some words that we're going to see there are certain common spelling patterns for this sound firstly we've got to note that some words in fact a lot of words with the o produce the r sound so the first word is hot there is the o but the o gives me the R sound. So I can say hot. The O gives me the R sound. Well, the spelling is not H-double-A-T. It is H-O-T. But for your understanding, I've just written the double A because you now know that the O in this word gives me the R or the hot, the R sound. The next word has got again an O and that gives me the A sound. So I don't say Job. Job. Job is a name and, that's, and he's a nice guy but this is a job. So the A, the double A sound or the R sound comes from the O in this word, which is the job. Then we have a stop. The O again giving me the, the R sound. So I say stop, stop it, stop it. Okay, so it's a stop. Moving on to the next uh, common spelling pattern for the R sound is the letter A. So even in uh, words which have the letter A, you do get the R sound being produced most of the times. So, for example, you have a car. I don't say care, I say car. Okay. The C is pronounced as a K, as most words with a C often are. So, I say a car. So, it's not car in pronunciation that's for your understanding that i say it that way but it's k the k and the a giving me the r sound and the r so it's the car and then the next word is the dark so in this word i have the a giving me the r sound so i say dark it's it's dark in your it's dark the R sound. The, the last word is the want. The A giving me the R sound. So I say want. Okay. Moving on to the word pairs. Okay. The first word pair, a very common terminology we all use in today's world modern day problems. Okay, we know that the O and the A give us the R sound. So let us identify what words they are. The first word has the O. 
Therefore, I say modern. Okay, so that's the modern day. This will not give me the A ah sound, it's an A sound. But problems? Yes. The O gives me the A ah sound and I say problems. So I would say modern day problems. Next word, office. The O gives me the A ah sound. So I say office the o again in this word gives me the a uh sound and i say job which we have already done uh, you know in the second word then we move on to the next word which is common so the o in this word gives me the a uh sound so i say common not a common but a common the next word, the O, giving me the A ah sound, so that is a topic. The next word is common problem. We've dealt with common already. The next word, problem, giving me the O, which we, we've already done, which gives me the pra, the problem. We don't say problem, we say problem because of the O, giving me the distinct A ah sound. And the last word, pair, which is logical. The O sound gives me, the O gives me the A sound, so it is logical. And the last word is response, but I don't say response, I say response. And therefore, I substitute, I substitute the O with the A uh sound and I say logical response. Well, now you are familiar with the A uh sound. So let's apply that in some words in some of the sentences that I've got for you. The first one is the doctor. We just said that the O gives me the A uh sound and therefore I can say doctor and not a doctor but a doctor wherein the r comes in from the o in this word operated again i have an o and therefore i say operated in the modern the o again becomes an r naturally giving me the common R sound and I say modern. So the doctor operated in the modern hospital. So the O again giving me the R sound and I say hospital because of the R sound produced. The next sentence, I've got a very common name. We all know Bob. We all know Bob, okay? But he's got an O in his name and therefore we call him Bob. We don't say Bob. We say Bob. Wherein the R comes from the O in his name. Will. Probably. I don't say probably. I say probably. The R sound. It's a long R. So I'm yawning. Probably. So it's probably luck so that word gives me the R ah sound and I say luck luck Bob probably luck the office so the O in this word gives me the R ah sound and therefore I say office Bob will probably lock the office. The last sentence, Scott. We know Scott too and his name is pronounced as Scott wherein the O gives us the R ah sound and we say Scott goes to a 
a lot. So the O gives me another A uh sound here. I don't say lot, I say lot. Scott goes to a lot. Off. Off. Rock. The O giving me the ah sound again. And concerts. We all know what concerts are. So, concert. The O gives me the, the ah sounds. I say concerts. And of course, words with C mostly are pronounced with a K. So, I say ca concerts. So, Scott goes to a lot of rock concerts. Well, that's it from the lesson on the vowel sound ah. Well, do keep practicing every day to gain a correct pronunciation on all these words. Uh, until then, I will be seeing you with some new vowel sounds and hopefully by then you will all gain perfection with your pronunciation. Take very good care of yourself. Goodbye.